Shalom beautiful, welcome to my channel. My name is Jojo and on this channel I blog about gardening, natural hair, spiritual journey, and anything above. So on today's episode I wanted to basically go into a little video about the elephant in the room and that is my hair. Um, it took me a long time to actually decide to do a video about my um, hair as you all can see I do have sister locks. I decided to um, Lock my hair. I want to say about um, What well, I've been thinking about it. I should say I've been a loose natural for more than um, 10 years I uh, officially started the natural hair journey. I want to say back in I want to say back in 2000 Five, 2006 where I decided I no longer wanted to wear hair weaves I no longer wanted to straighten my hair um, I no longer wanted to damage my hair so I was a loose natural for years and years and years and I was able to grow my hair from a teeny weeny fro um, down to bra strap length and I grew healthy hair. I did it all naturally on my own I did my own trimming maintaining my hair and just the overall health of my hair I made sure I was focused and dedicated to it um, Fast forward to a few years later um, after we had our second son I experienced um, a lot of postpartum shedding um, my hair it was a very um, traumatic pregnancy um, it landed us into an emergency um, c-section and my son was delivered premature but after all of that entire ordeal I experienced traumatic like I should say dramatic um, hair shedding postpartum shedding my hair was very dry it felt very brittle I would literally wash my hair and it would come out in clumps clumps come clumps and I remember you know I was at a, a breaking point where it was either I was going to cut my hair or I was going to just basically do something else either lock it up or I didn't know what I wanted to do but I knew I had to do something quick and fast so um, after that and this was back in 2017 um, after experiencing a lot of hair loss, shedding, and my hair was just basically damaged at this point because it was just coming out in clumps. It was uneven. I decided to trim my hair. I trimmed it up to, um, I want to say up to my shoulders because at the time before my son's um, delivery, my hair was about past bra strap length. I had over 16 or 18 inches of hair. So I decided to trim my hair down to help with the breakage and within that process from 2017 to about 2019 my hair was back to its natural healthy state. So um, it took a while for me to get there because I had to trim my hair. I had to do a lot of things taking vitamins just going back to the basics again with getting my hair to a healthy state. So fast forward to 2019, um, I started researching locks. I've always wanted locks. I knew that some point in my life, I was going to either get traditional locks or get sister locks. So I've always had on my Pinterest board, I've always had pictures of locks that I was inspired by, um, ideal lock sizes and different things like that. I've always had my eyes on locking my hair. Now, fast forward to 2019, um, I started really, really um, researching and going in depth on the locking process. So of course, like everyone always starts off with, the first place I went to was YouTube. So I started watching several YouTube videos of women who had their hair locked, um, the process that they went through, um, the overall maintenance of sister locks, and traditional locks because I was researching both to see which one would better suit my needs. So I came to the realization that I wanted to get sister locks. Now, um, my mother's hair is locked and I actually started her hair and she has um, traditional locks. And I knew that although I love the look of traditional locks, I knew that I wanted to still kind of maintain some form of my original hair pattern 
And from watching videos with um, women who have sister locks, I was able to see that they were still able to maintain, maintain some of their hair, original hair pattern in their locks. Like it was more pliable. Um, I love the little loose and curly ends and that's how my hair was. So as a loose natural, I had very curly hair unless I blew it out or did uh, um, braid out or twist out. But my hair in its natural state was very Coily, and I knew I still wanted to maintain that. So um, in 2019, I decided that um, after speaking with my husband, of course, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and get my hair sister locked. So I'm located here in Texas and I was very new to the area. I've never really went to someone to get my hair done. Now, back in the days when I used to have my hair cut short and I used to wear different style, I used to go to um, a stylist back in Florida and she was my only stylist because I'm very particular about having people in my hair. Um, once I establish a relationship with someone and I like their work, I'm very like um, loyal and I will stay with that person to the very end. So shout out to Michelle Michelle if she's still out there doing hair, but she was my go-to person for my hair. I went to her for everything. If I wanted my hair cut, if I wanted my hair curled or whatever it was, she was my go-to person. I also had a second backup stylist and um, his name was Jean. And um, I'm not sure if he still have his salon up, but I'm pretty sure he's somewhere. I'm, I'm, I haven't um, seen him in years, but I used to go to the stylist named Jean and he was like, the natural hair guru and expert. All of his clients, including myself, had very long, healthy hair. And I love his approach because he was all about the, the health of your hair. So between Michelle and Jean, those were the only two people that I would trust in my hair. So, and I say this for a reason because it's going to tie into my sister lock journey. So besides those two um, stylists, I have always done my hair. I have always trimmed my hair. I have always maintained my hair. Um, I have always been the first person to do or see anything wrong with my hair. Okay, it was I. So fast forward to 2019, I started doing my research on finding um, a sister lock consultant in the area. Now, I knew very well that I could have locked my own hair because I've done my mom's hair in the past. I've locked her hair from beginning to where it is now. So I knew I was very well capable of locking my hair. However, I wanted at the time... I was so caught up in the sister lock grid. I wanted to have nice, neat partings. I wanted to make sure it was done right and established correct from the very beginning. So that was my sole reason of why I searched out for a sister lock loctician. So I went on to the sister lock website. And if you guys don't know... The the Sister Lock website have a whole bunch of um, locticians who are certified via training through the Sister Lock um, classes because it is a trademark company. So on this website, you are able to find um, women or men who are certified to do a Sister Lock and establish Sister Lock. You are also able to find trainees on the website as well. And it's always recommended to go with someone who is certified to do sister locks. So I searched for a few weeks and I want to say about a month or so and I finally found a loctician that I felt comfortable with doing my hair. Now I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to mention any business name because I do feel that as um, business owners, you know, your clients are not always going to always be satisfied and then there's going to be clients that are very satisfied. So I never want to come on here and post anyone's business or anyone's name and then state my um, cons about the business because I feel like we're all thriving to be better. And if they do stumble across the video, they can take some tips and maybe learn from it to better their business. So um, long story short, I did find a loctician that I wanted to go ahead and get my lock um, established. And I spoke with her a few times. I did um, send her, I believe, I want to say I sent, I sent her pictures of my hair. 
um, I spoke to her over the phone and we decided to do what most lactitians, sister lock lactitian will do. They will install like a sample lock, three different sizes in your hair so you can see which one you prefer so they can also see which one will be best for your hair. So after speaking with her, we set up an appointment for me to go in so she can establish three she established, I want to say, three or four locks at the base of my hair, different sizes. And we, um, I was instructed to leave the locks in, I want to say, for about a week or two. Then, based on that, I would be able to see how my locks would develop, which one would be best. And from there, we would pick on the size, and that would be what we would establish in my hair. So we established the locks. I went in and spoke with her. Um, her business was very nice and clean, very friendly. You know, she answered all my questions and I had several questions because I was just so, like, I was just so sure that when I do book this person that I felt right in my spirit that it felt like a right thing to do. So she was very open. She answered all of my questions, all of my concern. And one of the things I immediately spoke to her about is I expressed her concern of who will be doing my hair <laughs> because I don't like too many people in my hair. So she did inform me it would be herself. If it wasn't herself, it would be another partner of hers who was going to be part of my establishment process. So in total, there would be two people working on my hair if she was not the one doing it. It was either her or her partner. And I did express to her how I've never really went to like the salon. I've maintained my hair. My hair, I mean, she even complimented on how healthy and shiny my hair was, like how it had a natural sheen to it. Because again, I really maintained my hair for years to make sure it was healthy. So after she answered my questions and she um, did the sample locks, um, a few, I want to say maybe a week or two later, I, I'm not quite sure on the time frame, but I want to say it was about a week or two later, um, we decided on which lock would be best for my hair. And then we scheduled an official installation date so we went over the prices she measured my hair of course told me what i needed to do before the installation process you know she instructed me on washing my hair uh, making sure i did not blow dry my hair and uh, make sure i didn't put any oils just come with my hair in its natural state um she also measured my hair to find out the cost because if you all know with sister locks sister locks rate and this is a question that i get a lot how much was your locks or how much would it cost no one can give you like a definitive answer because the way sister locks work is based on the length of your hair so let's say if your loctician starts off at let's say two hundred dollars for the first eight inches of hair and based on how many hours is how they would kind of gauge the prices so it's never a definitive price because it will vary you won't get like a standard quote on sister lock installation so anyway she measured my hair and um when she measured my hair she measured the back which was the longest um part of my hair she measured it at 16 inches in the back and then the front was measured at 14 inches long so with that she quoted me a price and what i loved about her company because sister locks is an investment and sister locks can be expensive so what i loved about her company she did offer payment plans meaning let's say if you booked out your installation date six months out you were able to pay up until that installation date so i believe when we booked my appointment i want to say we were probably i want to say maybe three months or four months before my installation date so i was able to make payments on my installment up until the day of my appointment. So it kind of lessened the burden of just chucking up all that money all at once. So that is one thing that I did like about her business because she did provide that offer. And of course, with your um, sister lock payment, your first retie is included in that payment. So the next time you come to her after your installment, you won't be paying anything because you have already paid for your first retie. So that was a pro in my book because, of course, we all know Sister Lock is pricey. It can be expensive. 
and it's a lot of money to ditch up all at one time. <laughs> okay, so we she measured my hair. She quoted me the price. We set up how I would do the monthly payment up until that point. So um, fast forward to installation day. I was so excited. Washed my hair. Now I remind you, 16 inches of hair in the back, 14 inches in the front. So I was very excited and just ready to get it done because I have a cousin of mine. Hey, Daphne. Okay, I have a cousin of mine and another cousin, Sharon. They they both have sister locks and Sharon had hers um, longer and I love, 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 love her hair. And then my cousin Daphne decided, she locked her hair, I want to say a year prior to me deciding on getting my hair locked. And I remember seeing her hair and how beautiful it was and how fast it grew and how healthy it looked and I was just so excited. I was we we have this little um you know we we chime in from time to time and I was just sharing with her how excited I was and I couldn't wait and you know I would you know touch base with her let her know what's going on because she was at the time the only person that I knew that had hair similar to mine where I can kind of look at her hair and figure out an idea of what my hair would look like. So I would always chime in with her, ask her questions about how her loctician did stuff and all that greatness. So anyways, the day of my sister lock installation, of course, I was very excited. Um, we scheduled to book three days to install my hair based on my hair. So we scheduled three days to get my hair installed. And I will go to her every morning. I want to say I came around 6 o'clock in the morning. And I think I didn't leave till like 8 or 9. I do know, and this is one, I do have a little notebook of some questions to answer. So let me rewind a little bit. My installation date was on March 18th of 2020. And of course, this was during the time COVID was on the rise. So um, in my state, they were still trying to figure out whether or not if they were going to shut down, if we were going to stay open. It was still kind of up in the air because nobody really knew what we were dealing with. So on my installation date, we scheduled it for March 18th. We did three days. So from March 18th, 19th, and the 20th of 2020 were the three days that we would sit down and install my hair. So on installation day on March 18, what we decided on is two people, my loctician and the other lady that I mentioned that was going to be the two that would be maintaining my hair, they would be the two present to do the installation. And they basically would do what they call a tag team. So one person would work in the back, one person would work in the front. And I was all about that because one thing I dread is sitting in a beautician seat hours and hours and hours. I, I hated it. I always hated it. And that's probably one of the reasons why I've always maintained my hair and would seldomly go to uh, Michelle Michelle or Jean of New York to get my hair done because I hated that process. I really did. I hate the dryer. I hate it all. <laughs> okay. So I would try any avenue to avoid it. So when they mentioned the tag team method, I was all for it. I'm like, go ahead, more people, we can get this thing done and knocked out. So um, long story short, on installation day, what they did first was create my parting. And as you know, with sister locks, there's a certain grid pattern and there's a certain mathematical process that they use to make sure that you have equal amount of locks and your partings are even, the sizes are consistent so that you can get the best and healthiest installation of your locks. So they started with the parting and I felt like it took forever. I think we spent almost I want to say the first two hours just parting my hair. And I was sitting there like, oh my goodness, we are never going to be done. I'm going to be here forever. So they did the little parting. They divided my hair into the little sections that they were going to install the lock in. And they started working. So I was so happy once they started working. Now on day one, now, I remind you, um, they did mention to come with your hair washed. You, she didn't want it to be like blow dried or anything. She just wanted it to be in its natural state. So my hair in its natural state, when it's washed, 
it curls up into a little fro. So it gets really curly. So once it's dry, it's like set in that position until you wet it. Because if you try to comb through it, you're going to get like, I don't know if you guys can see how my ends are. If you try to comb out my hair in its natural state where not just wash and go, it's going to be tangled. You need to do it section by section, which is why I used to normally wash my hair and two strand twist my hair in the shower and I would never let my hair just dry on its own without the tangling. So the parting process was already kind of really um, ancient. Like it got me really anxious because as they were parting, I could feel when the comb would kind of get snagged and it was like a pull and a tug and I'm like, okay. I kept saying like, you know, they know what they're doing, it's okay. I would let her know like, okay, I'm a little tender headed, but I just trust the process because they were the experts. So I'm just going to sit and let them do the work. So, um, as they were doing my sister locks and of course my hair is now drying up is no longer moist as um, she was doing my sister lock, I would feel like when the comb or when she would try to get through the hair where it would get stuck and it almost felt like. I don't know if you ever hear the sound of hair like ripping, but I felt that and I was kind of like, okay, you know, what's going on? But again, I was still sitting there and I trust the process and everything. So day one, we were able to get um, the back of my hair, most of the back of my hair completed. So it was 10 hours for all three days. So it took a total of 30 hours to install my sister lock. So we went through the process. We worked throughout the entire 10 hours. We will stop for bathroom breaks. And she did give like a one hour, two hour lunch break, of course, for her and her um, partner, as well as myself. So we did have a break in between. I have my little reading materials and definitely bring anything you can bring with you because you're going to be in the chair for a long time. So I brought all of my reading materials. I had my lunch with me. So we were just, she was really knocking it in, her and her partner. So um, by day three, we were finally done with my hair and I was so excited because it was a long and grueling process. It was. So day three, which was March 20th, and let me rewind a little bit. On I want to say March 19th, we started getting the word that there's a possibility that they would be shutting down um, personal service businesses. So like your barber shops, your um, salons, your nail shops. Texas was declaring that they were going to start shutting it down because they were getting more information on COVID and, and we all know with COVID what was going on. So on March 19th, they were starting to shut down businesses. So we were already talking about like, okay, if they do decide to shut down, what are we going to do? So she was all she was already making plans that I would meet her at her house or whatever it is because there was a possibility that the next day she wouldn't be able to do my hair. Thankfully, that did not happen. We were able to actually complete my hair on March 20th. And literally on that day, I want to say the evening of March 20th, the state of Texas decided to shut down Texas. So one, I was so happy, not because of the situation that was going on, but I was so happy that I was able to complete my hair without any real delays or interruptions. So now that my hair was installed, um, Texas had shut down because due to COVID. I knew my next appointment wasn't going to be until about, I think she said about four to six weeks out. So we already started making plans on how she would maintain our hair. So they did shut down all of the salons. So she, we were communicating through text messages and through text messages, we made an arrangement on how she would do my hair. And I was fine with it because again, I did trust her. Very nice and sweet lady. So I, I trusted her and she was very open with the situation and she was willing to either come to me or I would come to her. Now, given that I have small, I have kids here and um, I also have my husband here, I knew it wouldn't be a great situation to have her come here because there were going to be constant interruption. So I scheduled to go to her. So every four to five weeks for a year or so, I was going to her house to get my hair established. Um, well, not established, I'm sorry. To get my hair 
um, retied. And if you guys don't know what retie is or interlocked, it's basically the process of um, interlocking your new growth into the lock. So as your hair grow, they will interlock the new growth to join it with your lock. So that's the whole process of interlocking your hair and keeping up with the maintenance of your hair. Now, during this time, and this is where um, some things, I'm going to go a little bit fast because I don't want this video to be extremely long. Um, but this is where um, I started to have some issues with my hair and where I started to kind of like question certain things. For example, um, she did say my hair was 16 inches long and 14 inches in the front. But I noticed that I had a lot of loose ends, meaning like if this was the lock, and I will try and insert pictures once I figure out how to work this YouTube thing. But let's say this was the lock. I would have about like this much of curly hair out. And I knew that was a concern for me. And I brought it up to her. Because of course, like I mentioned previously, I was on YouTube watching several videos. And I ran across a video of a, of a, a sister who had her hair sister lock. And she had the same issue where her loctician left out so much hair. And her hair was just unraveling and she had to go to another loctician and she basically had to pretty much get her hair installed again because of that. And her locks wasn't developing how she wanted them to develop. So I did remember during one of my loctician, um, during my lock session or retie session, I mentioned to her like, hey, I'm noticing that I have a lot of loose ends. Is that normal? And I would try and insert the picture of my hair after, um, after we finished my hair, and you can see in the picture that there were already loose ends, but I didn't even think about it at the time because I figured that that was the way it was supposed to be. So I didn't even, you know, question it. So I did mention it to her like, hey, I'm noticing I have a lot of loose ends. And she was like, yeah, I noticed that too. Are you braiding and banding? Now keep in mind, I was following the instructions to the T. She told me that I needed to braid and band my hair when I washed, which I did. I braided and banded my hair. I did the whole process. I did not put any oils. I did not put any conditioner. I was following the process that she recommended, braiding and banding my hair. So I explained to her that, yes, I am braiding and banding, um, but I just noticed that I do have a lot of loose in. Is that normal? And she ensured me that we can do one or two things. One, with my hair, because it's curly, I would naturally get slippage and looseness of my hair. This is what she ensured me. And another thing um, she mentioned, which I felt like she was kind of hesitating to say, she was like, well, we can, you, well, she didn't say we can. She was like, well, you can, she was referring to me, that I can two strand twist my hair down to the bottom. And I'm like, no, because I paid you to, to lock 16 inches of hair. So I don't want to have to go and do any work to my hair because this is what I paid you for. So anyways, that was like my first issue, but I kind of like brushed it off. And I, I think I brushed it off because her personality, she was just so nice, so um, accommodating. And I think I just was like, you know, maybe it's in my head because maybe I'm, you know, I don't know the process of sister lock. Maybe this is okay. So I kind of, you know, went with the flow and she continued to lock my hair um, for a whole year. I want to say like almost a whole year during COVID and our agreement, which I failed to mention in the beginning, I, when I met up with her about my establishment, I did advise her due to religious purposes. I cannot come in on a Saturday. She is open on a Sunday. So she um, said that she was able to do my hair on Sundays. So I will go to her on Sundays to get my hair done. So now fast forward to like a year later, maybe like a year or two, she's maintaining, she, she maintained my hair for the first year. Then it started transitioning to now her daughter and another lady maintaining my hair, which again, I was fine because both of them was supposed to be certified um, trainees. They were working under her guide. So I trusted her. And again, both of them had locks that were beautiful. So I trusted the process. So after about a year or so, um, we started going into her shop. And this is, I want to say about a year and a half. And this is where her daughter and another um, partner of hers, not the original person, this is someone completely new, 
started doing my hair. So I would still have the two in my hair every Sunday doing the retie. And the only thing that I could not understand when I would speak with this cousin of mine who also have sister locks about the same size as mine. She, When I would talk with her, she would tell me that her whole retie process usually took two to three hours, no longer than three hours. Yet when I would go to my lactation and these two women that are now doing my hair, my reties were taking five hours every time I would go, five hours. And I was just like, okay, I, I I went with the flow and this was supposed to be a hairstyle that was supposed to be convenient for me, but it was becoming more and more like, okay, this is taking my whole day <laughs> to get my hair done. But long story short, I pushed through because I wanted my, I wanted to have the best maintenance of my lock. I wanted to make sure I was going to a certified lactician so that they can work on my locks and make sure that they were taking care of the maintenance of my locks. So now two years in, I'm going every Sunday, five hours for my retime. Um, I got a text message from my lactician out of the blue. She's like, oh, we're no longer doing Sunday appointments. Um, I would have to find another lactician. So now I was kind of like, well, first I was pissed because I was like, um, what? From the very beginning, I explained to you that I wanted to have a lactician that I would stay with for years on end because I expressed to you how I don't like a lot of people in my hair. I don't like skipping to different salons. I want to stick to one person. So when she texted me that, I was kind of like taken back. I was like, okay, um, well, when I spoke to you, you assured me that you could do this on a Sunday. And she's like, well, yeah, things have changed. And remind you, I think she canceled. And it was like literally two weeks before my retie. So she was like, well, she's no longer doing Sunday's appointment. Um, so I would have to find a different lactician to do my hair. So I was, I expressed to her how upset I was. I'm like, you know, it's unprofessional because you're literally canceling and it's less than two, two weeks before my retie. And on top of that, and I'm not sure if this is how it is in other places, but in my state to find a lactician that would take in a new client, a transfer client is really slim to none. Every website that you will go to or you will call, they will be like, oh, I'm not taking transfer clients. I'm not taking new clients. I'm not it was like the most stressful thing. And I text her back. I'm like, well, where am I supposed to go? Because no one is taking new clients. No one's taking transfer clients. And you're canceling literally two weeks before my retire, which is very unprofessional. So she apologized. She gave me another loctician's um, phone number. I gave her a call. She asked me how much locks do I have? How much you know hair do I have? I sent her a picture. I explained to her what happened with this loctician. Will you be okay with doing my appointments on Sunday? I went through the whole shebang. And she was like, yes, I will be okay. Yada, yada, yada. So we booked our first appointment. Very nice and sweet lady. Um, really loved her personality, booked the appointments. My first appointment with her, and she was like examining my hair and retying my hair and just, you know, going through my hair. And she's like, wow, your locks are really small. And I'm like, I know. And she's like, you know, for the type of hair I have, because my hair, I have a lot of strands, but my, my strands are very fine. She And she was explaining to me with the, the density of my hair, um, it would have been best for her to do my locks a little bit bigger because my hair is really fine and it's a lot of locks. I have over 574 locks. So she, you know, and I explained to her, you know, I went under the guidance of what she instructed me and this is what she suggested, which I'm fine with my hair. I love my hair. So um, as she's doing my hair, she's realizing, she's like, um, were you keeping your appointments? I'm like, yes, I've never missed my appointments with my past loctician. I went on the schedule that she gave me. I only stuck with her. And she was like, well, I'm going through some of your locks and I'm noticing that a lot of your locks have holes in them. And I was like, I, you know, like, no, they shouldn't have holes because I've been going to the same loctician and these are the people that's been doing my hair since the time I had it established. So she pointed out and she literally was showing me like 
locks that had like not little holes, like holes, holes. And she's like, you know, she was telling me about the repair process and how much it was going to cost. Now, at this time, I was like, P P.O. Okay, I was pissed off because I knew that I trusted this person with my hair and she assured me that she was going to take care of my hair and that's not what I had. So I gave her a call and I explained to her what she found and I sent her pictures. And one thing I would say, which is why I said I'm not going to mention names and businesses, she did apologize and she did refund a portion of my installation. So I was grateful for that because most people would have probably been like, no, but she did refund a, a portion of my, my, um, payment and it was a good amount. So I thank her for doing that. Now I was still kind of upset with the process because I still had to get my locks repaired. So that was going to be a whole nother process of sitting down in the chair to get this done. So that was that. So she started doing this new loctician started doing my hair and, um, you know, she was very friendly. I, I enjoy working with her. But one thing that I was having an issue with is as with, with sister locks, for those of you who know, it's an hourly rate and the first two hours is a flat rate and anything after that is an additional fee. And I, as she was doing my hair, she's like, you know, it's a lot of locks and it's going to take more than X amount of um, hours. So she's going to have to charge me more. And I was like, you know, I don't want to pay any more than what everybody else is paying. I'm not understanding why I should be paying more when they've installed this amount in my hair. They know how long it will take. So she was telling me that, you know, she would have to charge more. And I'm like, you know what, at this point, all I want you to do, because she was giving me the vibe that it was going to be too much for her to maintain. So at this point, I was like, you know what? If you can just lock the back of my hair from ear to ear back, I will be okay. Because again, I, I know how to maintain my hair. So the back was going to be a little bit more complicated because that's where the bulk of my hair was. So it was going to be hard for me to see back there. So she'd agree that she would maintain um, the back portion of my hair and I will maintain the front. I was okay with that agreement because at this point, I'm just like, you know what? I just need someone to maintain my lock until they mature. And right now, the way these locticians are set up out here, they're giving me a lot of, you know, they're not really interested in the health of your lock. It's more about the money. That's that's where I was going with this. Like, I felt like the care of my hair was not the top priority. It was more about how much can I get out of each client. That's how I felt. Because I started off with her doing the back of my hair, and I was still paying the amount that most people will pay for their full head. Okay, for just the back of my hair. Then um, I remember there was a point in time where my appointment was canceled on because of a situation she had. My appointment was canceled. Hi, bye-bye. I remember there was a point in time that my appointment was canceled and it was due to her personal reason. So my um, installation, um, I keep saying installation, but my retie, instead of it being four to five weeks, I think we were at week six or seven because she had to cancel and I understood she had a sickness in her family. So I understood. But then when the day of my appointment, she's like, oh my gosh, you have so much new growth. I normally charge x amount of money when you're when you pass the four to six weeks and i'm sitting there like i'm past the four to six weeks because you canceled so that was one of those things like you know how you pin it on the top of your thought like i'm just going to pin this right here so you know i went with the flow she did my hair i was done but i started to here's where i'm going into the cons and then i'll mention the pros now, let's get the bad out now, this is where I start going into the cons of Sister Lock. With Sister Lock, you're dependent on someone to do your hair. You're, ba you're basically at their beck and call and will. Now, being said that you are at the, and, and I, I feel like they know this, they play around with the pricings and it, it's just, it, it feels like a game. 
For example, I was still paying the full price just for the back of my hair. And I got a text message that said, oh, because of the amount of locks I have, she would have to add an additional, I think it was 10 or $20. So now I went from paying whatever it was I was paying to, I think 140 just for the back of my hair. So now I would still sit in her chair for two to three hours and still have to go home and do the front of my hair for another two hours because I was doing it on my own. But I was paying the full price. So that started to really bug me because I'm like, you know what? Now it's becoming more in of an inconvenience than a convenience for me because I feel like I'm giving all this money away, but I'm still not getting the, the, the satisfaction of getting my hair, my full hair done. I still had to go home and work again. So um, I started paying, I think it was like 140 because she increased the price. And then I had a situation where I had to cancel. Now, this is where I canceled. And I explained to her, you know, I have to cancel due to whatever it was. And then she was like, okay, well, you do know if you go beyond whatever, it's an extra fee. I was already starting to get really annoyed of hearing the extra fees. Every single thing was like, it's extra fee, extra fee. I was really starting to get peed over. So I remember I was speaking to my husband at this point, And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start retying the back of my hair because I don't want to have to pay extra because I needed to cancel. But when you canceled, you didn't deduct the amount from my fee. You didn't you didn't do any of that. I still had to pay full price. So I was starting to, you know, explain to him, like, you know, I think I'm gonna start retying my hair. I'm going to make an attempt to do it because right now this hairstyle that I originally installed to be able to have freedom felt like I was being bind to it. So I started retying my hair. And in the midst of me doing that, I did it for like, I think I want to say started in February. I started retying my own hair. And within that time frame, I got another text that I guess it was a mass text that she said to all her clients that starting on this, this date, her fee will be increasing. So now at this point, that's when I decided, okay, I can't do this anymore because I feel like I'm paying so much for my hair, but I'm not getting the full service that most, like I'm speaking with other people that have sister locks and what they're getting, their loctician is washing their hair, their loctician is going over and making sure their locks is not damaged. They're getting like this full service for this set price. And here I am still having to do the front of my hair. I still have to wash my own hair before I go in. I still have to do all of these things and my price just kept increasing and increasing. And at that time, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing it anymore. So here we are. This is where the video of my sister lock starts. <laughs> I just need to get all of that out the way. So some of the questions that I've gotten is, when did I install my sister locks? I installed officially of March 20th, 2020. My hair was officially completed and done. Why I, I decided to go into this realm of getting sister lock, I wanted a hairstyle that I did not have to really maintain as much. I wanted something that was kind of just get up and go and I would always be ready. And I wanted to cut back on having to detangle my hair, the products that I was using. I just wanted to kind of simplify my hair routine. And sister locks or getting locks was the way I wanted to do that. Now, the pros of, and if you see me glancing, because I have my little checklist. Now, the pros of Sister Locks is very convenient. You don't have to, whereas before, where most people would go every week or every two weeks to get their hair done, with Sister Locks, I don't have to do that. I can, for the, for the depending on, you know, your routine, your schedule, your maintenance schedule, you're looking at four to five weeks to get your hair done. Which, to me, that's convenient because I don't have to worry about booking an appointment every week or me, myself, doing my hair every week. So that was one of the convenience of Sister Locks that I wanted. Another thing is, it's truly, it's a low-maintenance style, but, and I'm going to mention how it's not a low-maintenance style on my cons. For the pros, it's a low maintenance style because I don't have to do much for my hair to look like I'm like it's done. Like I could have my hair in a bun in the morning, looking a hot mess, and all I have to do is put it down, 
spray a little bit of my rose water if it feels a little dry and my hair is pretty much ready to go so i don't have to style it i don't have to do a lot of things and my hair will always look nice like for example perfect example this morning my hair was in a ponytail all i did for this video is i took it out of the ponytail ran my little fingers through it and i was ready to go so that is the the low maintenance side of it and again i'll mention how it's not low maintenance in the con section another pro was the growth my hair although it was bouncing back from postpartum shedding with the sister lock my hair is retaining its length I don't have any shedding because of course you're locking in those shed hair so you do get a lot of growth very quickly so that's a pro for some who probably desire long beautiful locks um another thing with the the pros of it is i just love the way it looks it's aesthetically pleasing for me and I feel like my hair is not being manipulated as much. So I'm not constantly in my hair pulling and tugging. So my scalp kind of have a break from the constant like the tangling and the washing and all that stuff that you would do um, if you were a loose natural. So I feel like I'm not manipulating my hair as much anymore. Now the cons, and I'm going to put it out there because a lot of people like to talk about the pros of Sister Lock, but a lot of people don't really go into the cons of Sister Lock. Now the cons of Sister Lock is the time. A lot of people will say it's low maintenance because you don't have to worry about doing your hair. However, when it's time to do your retie, you have to block in that time slot and it can be a lengthy time slot. I have been um, retying my own hair now since, I want to say since February. I think February was my last appointment going into my loctician. I've been locking, retying my hair on my own since February. And the back of my hair would take me about four hours because I'm doing it on my own. And I have to be you know, pre precise and make sure I'm not marrying any other locks. So it takes me a while. So usually I divide those into days. So it can take me two to three days to retie my entire hair. So what I normally do is try to get the back of my hair completed. And then throughout the week, I will work on the front of my hair. And I have been kind of taking a little break on the front of my hair because I, I noticed that some parts like this side of my hair is my problem area this hair side of my hair is a little bit finer versus this side of my hair so i try not to bother the front of my hair as much and the hair is, is much finer than the back of my hair so i try not to um constantly be in it as much so the time will be a con because you're looking at anywhere depending on how fast your loctician work you're looking at anywhere between two to five hours every appointment another con is the money the installation is a, a hefty price for the installation and the maintenance for me at least because i don't normally go into salons to get my hair done I tend to do it on my own so the cost factor for me is is a thing it is it can be pricey because if you're calculating if your loctician let's just say is charging you 140 every retie that can get kind of costly depending on your budget or whatever it is so it is not it is a pricey um, it is a hairstyle that does cost so just keep that in mind if you decide to ever lock your hair um, the other thing is, to me, the biggest con in this entire journey is keeping a consistent loctician. For me, that in my journey, and I don't know how it is with everybody else, but for me, that has been a major con for me. Because I feel like the consistency was not there. It wasn't. Because within the, what, 2020, and we're now in 20, what is it, 2023, between that time frame, I've had one, two, three, five locticians in my hair. The first two that started my hair, then her daughter and the her other partner that worked in my hair, and then the new person within that time frame. That is just too many people in, on one head. And for me, personally. So that has been like the biggest con for me is 
finding a lactation that's going to be consistent with their service and quality and consistent with their pricing. Because I feel like each month, my price, was not, not each month, but every four to six months, my price was increasing. And I'm like, it's the same hair. Nothing has changed. But yet, the prices was getting higher and higher and higher. And that was not, I was quoted from the beginning that retie was going to be 120. Most retie is within that range. And that was not so. So that was one issue that I would say is a con. But as for the whole process, since I've been retying my hair, I am able, I feel like my hair has gotten healthier. I'm able to correct the issues that was not corrected by my lactician. And I'm able to monitor my hair a little bit better. Like as I was going through my locks, I would find, which I felt like, okay, my lactician should have correct this. I will find locks that were really, really fine, like on the bridge of about to snap. And I'm like, okay, why was this not corrected? You're in my hair. You obviously see it. Why was it not corrected? So I had to do a lot, especially in the back area, the ones that were really, really fine. I had to combine the locks because I was not comfortable with the size of how small they were. So you want to make sure that when you're looking for a lactician, that you're sincerely looking for someone that's not only going to establish your hair correctly, but it's also going to maintain your hair to make sure that your locks develop healthy and it's, it's not developing holes, they're not too thin, that is doing what it needs to do healthy, in a healthy state. So that's all I have for my sister lock journey. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, if you're locked, how long have you been locked? What are your pros and cons with your sister lock or any traditional locks that you may have? Comment below and let's keep in touch. Shalom, beautiful, and have a great day.